Hi, my name is Art and welcome to another Bump by video. And in today's car spotting video we have our first non-JDM car, a Triumph Spitfire. But in this video I, it will probably become very clear why this car actually is significant for the Japanese car market. The Triumph Spitfire had an 18 year production run between 1962 and 1980. Initially it was created as an answer to the Austin Healy Sprite. The Spitfire was based upon the Herald, Triumph's small saloon car. And this was a very easy exercise as the Herald already featured a separate chassis and a separate body. So this allowed quick development and the body was then quickly designed by Michelotti and got facelifted twice throughout its life. Since Triumph was bought by Leyland and later got merged into British Leyland, this big conglomerate had many brands that competed against each other. For example, the Spitfire competed against its own Austin Healy Sprite and later against the MG Midget. And the competition even went further within British Leyland. The MG Roadster competed directly against the Triumph TR6, the MGB against the Triumph GT6 and TR7, and the MGC against the Triumph TR8. And these were actually only the sports cars. Imagine how many cars of these Austin, Morris, Rover, Triumph, MG and Jaguar brands actually have been competed against each other, fighting to meet their sales targets. This meant that British Leyland had a downfall and that meant that cost had been cut and since none of these sports cars were actually big sellers anymore, they were all discontinued. And that meant that the curtain fell for the Spitfire in 1980 with no successor in place. If you're interested in more detail what actually happened to British Leyland, see the video that I linked here. Even though these British roadsters weren't big sellers anymore, there was still a strong demand for them in the US. And already in 1976, Bob Hall, a journalist from Motor Trend magazine, already hinted Mazda that an inexpensive roadster would actually be a very good idea. The Mazda MX-5 was developed in a spirit of a British Roadster, somewhere between the Triumph Spitfire and the TR6. Mazda as a company itself has a very similar aura to Triumph, cars that actually have a sporty feel to it. And if British Leyland would have actually continued any of their Roadsters, the demand wouldn't have been high enough for Mazda to justify the development of an all new car. To put it more bluntly, if this little Spitfire had sold a little bit better, we may never have seen the MX-5. So we should actually be very thankful for this. This Spitfire was the final incarnation of the range, the Triumph Spitfire 1500. The 1500 stands for the final 1493cc engine that delivered 71 horsepower. With a curb weight of 790 kilograms, it's quite okay for its time, but don't expect really, really fast numbers. This Spitfire is one of the last ones produced. It got first registered in September 1979 and if the tweet interior didn't already give that away. I found this Spitfire parked on the third floor of a parking garage in my hometown and it looks immaculate and judging from the paint job and the perfect interior I dare to say that it never has been restored. And also this car really stunned me by its sheer beauty. That's it for this video, thank you for watching and here are some of the cars that I recently spotted. If you have spotted a car yourself recently, just let me know in the comments below or send a picture to me via Instagram. Bam, 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 bam,